the San Joaquin Valley lies in the geographic heart of California. I was born and raised here. In total, eight counties in whole or in part all together make up El Valle de San Joaquin. Growing up in McFarland in the 90s, there has seemingly always been a friendly rivalry between the city of Fresno to the north and our own county seat of Bakersfield. Despite the portrait presented to those living outside its borders, California is not so forward-thinking on issues regarding the environment. Particularly uh, communities that live fence line or across the street from industrial toxic polluters, right? The fact that there's uh, schools and homes that are literally across the uh, street from fields that get fumigated constantly. That kind of structural racism that allows, you know, land use practices to exist is something that, um, you know, I'd really love to document. Like Fresno, Bakersfield and its surrounding landscape is well known for its agriculture. Unlike Fresno, Bakersfield and other rural towns in Kern County have a history of oil production that goes back more than 100 years. According to the American Lung Association's 2020 State of the Air report, Bakersfield and Fresno share in another distinction. Using year-round particle pollution as a metric, Bakersfield has the worst air pollution in the United States, followed by Fresno. When talking about short-term particle pollution, Bakersfield then follows Fresno. Sis, boom, ba. It wasn't until I was in, in school where I learned about all of these things happening, and it just kind of it made me upset that I li had lived there for 18 years and never knew that I was being impacted by particle pollution, by um, agricultural burns, by um, high ozone peaks in the summer. So I, I am an asthmatic. I had heard that we had a really bad air pollution problem. But like a lot of people, I kind of was of the mentality, well, I can't stop breathing. So basically, like, it is what it is. And I kind of have to accept these circumstances to the degree that when I would go to the doctor and complain about breathing problems, they would say to me, oh, well, Fresno's asthma city. Kern County already accounts for 80 percent of all oil and gas production in the state. Increased oil and gas drilling in Kern County would contribute to devastating public health impacts. As the oil and gas extraction process releases a toxic soup, of chemicals and particle pollution into the air and water. Studies have shown a direct link between oil and gas production and a range of adverse health impacts from chronic asthma and cancers to high-risk pregnancy. Oil and gas extraction contribute greatly to ongoing air and water pollution in the Central Valley. Moreover, pesticides and herbicides used in aerial spraying on agricultural land helps make matters worse. That's definitely where my passion lies. It's near and dear to my heart and I can only imagine what people are going through those those that don't have access to um, centralized air systems that can afford to filter out their air during during wildfires, during ag burns, during um, ozone seasons. Clean air advocates, like the Central Valley Air Quality Coalition, work diligently for a cleaner and safer San Joaquin Valley. CVEC leads a partnership of more than 70 organizations, including the Central California Environmental Justice Network. It would start off with Rudy Salas being replaced by Brian Osorio. It would be the San Joaquin Valley Air District Governing Board being all people of color, minority women, not white business owners, not white rancheros, right? That have a stake uh, in what they're regulating, right? People of color in low-income communities largely make up 92% of Californians who live within a mile of oil and gas wells. Lamont and Arvin, southeast of Bakersfield, are two such communities. Both are completely surrounded by agriculture and both have a history of oil and gas production. CCEJN recognized that small, isolated, and poor rural communities had little political recognition, yet multiple environmental problems. These communities, today comprised largely of POC, are found throughout the entirety of the San Joaquin Valley. 